one of the biggest crypto influencers in the space, Bitboy Crypto, that sued someone for defamation, for calling him out for being a scammer. But now he's dropped it. What's up with that? We're going to talk about that on today's Frugal BC. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Frugal BC channel. And today we've got a hot one coming for you. We were talking about a defamation suit in the crypto space. That's right. Bitboy Crypto, you may be familiar with him. He has one of the biggest crypto YouTuber channels around and well more than a million subscribers. Uh, it's a pretty big deal and uh, he can be a little bombastic. I've watched his channel before. Uh, sometimes I think he has some good info. Sometimes I think he's he's a little out there for me. And uh, but one of the things he's been accused of, and that's what uh, these, that's what uh, this YouTuber had accused him of, of doing rug pulls and then basically basically buying a bunch of coin, then using his influencer status to pump up the coin, then selling it. So that's what he's accused of, and he sued the he sued the influencer. So we're going to talk about what happened there. Before we get into that, guys, I'd love you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And by the way, you can join our community as well. If you hit the join tab, uh, you can get special emojis, stickers and emojis for the chat. And uh, you can join our pri private Facebook group too. Again, if enough of you uh, twist my arm and want a Discord channel, I'll do that instead. But uh, that's what it is for right now. And we'll have more stuff coming up like NFTs and things in the future. Uh, merchandise, you'll be the first to know. So. Feel free to join if you want to support the channel. Anyway, we're going to get into this lawsuit today. My good buddy over at Legal Mindset is going to help us explain it. We're going to watch you do a little video on it. We're going to watch just a little bit of this explanation. And then I'm going to give you some some comments. So let's let's go to that. Um, if you've known about him, and I've known about him for a while, BitBoy is the king of the pump and dump. He's the king of shilling a coin that absolutely crashes. Um, and statistically, if you look at if you look at any of the things he's done or put his money in, this is an analysis of the coins that he said. Now, if you guys don't know about lot about crypto, crypto, cryptocurrency, a individual cryptocurrency is usually in the form of a coin, right? Uh, think of it almost like its own business. These are obviously there's large cap businesses, things like Bitcoin maybe you've heard of maybe ethereum maybe you've heard of large what i would call like your large cap cryptos these are the exact opposite these are your penny stocks these are what we call bitcoins these are the absolute taint of crypto and this guy bitboy who's the biggest influencer he's the biggest dude on youtube for crypto he will go out and chill these coins I've only heard about like of about like three of these, but what he will do is a basic grip. It's very. Let me just tell you exactly what they do. They take these shit coins. Think of them once again, small companies. They take these shit coins. They buy them themselves, right? So they will buy them while they're super cheap. They will buy them while they're pennies on a dollar, and then the cost will pump because they will shield them on their. YouTube channel. They'll say, hey, go out and buy this coin. Yeah, so uh, our buddy at Legal Mindset laid that out pretty pretty succinctly. Uh, uh, just to be clear, Algorand was not on that list. I would not consider that an S coin, and I am bleeping that out so, <laughs> so I don't get uh, get penalized by the by the algorithms. But yeah, I think that's really interesting. Uh, so he basically had this chart where that that uh breaks down how we how he does this how his team you know they buy these coins and then the team pumps them up and then they go sell them yeah so this uh this is sort of a little breakdown from crypto potato uh bitboy crypto filed this lawsuit against erling mango Shoal jr aka otozi and his his video is titled this youtuber scams his fans bitboy crypto and he was saying that it caused damage to his business or reputation. So he filed a defamation suit. By the way, just a just a little word uh, for someone who has worked in the journalism space a long time. Defamation suits are really really hard to prove, particularly libel is. But but these are not easy. It's, it's you're gonna have to have pretty good proof that something is solidly a lie and was done so maliciously. 
And so it's, it's, they're pretty tough to win in general. And I thought this was interesting is that the, the David Schwartz of Ripple, who is uh, actually one of the people included in that, by the way, if you saw the chart, it had Ripple was one of the cryptocurrencies in it. So, so he actually asked him about, he actually asked Armstrong about uh, if there was a specific announcement in Ate's, Atozi's video that he could prove is a lie. So BitBoy basically said, well, there's no, he can't make any particular statements until the case is over. Schwartz lashed out at him and said, that's probably best since this kind of BS is utterly indefensible. Seriously, how could any competent lawyer put these obvious statements of opinion? Pretty much only these in a defamation complaint. Oh, and one last thing, just in case anyone doesn't see through your nonsense, if you really wanted to protect your reputation and can prove his statements are false, wouldn't you just present that proof now to protect your reputation? Is hurting him more important? He dropped the lawsuit very quickly, but I think it's really interesting. Uh, by the way, I did watch both of Atosi's videos and they are quite well done. I didn't see anything that rises to the level of defamation. Clearly court saw it as the same way, but I will say he did a great job breaking down the video and I think he was very careful to make very specific statements that won't get him in trouble. This is the whole reason why when I do this channel, I'm really careful to avoid hype. Uh, I tell you, if I tell you about a project, it's because I'm in it. When I'm not in it, I will tell you that I'm not in it. What I'm not doing is buying a project and then saying, hey, this, this project's going to go to the moon and then turning around and selling it. You know, you're just never going to see that on my channel. Well, I, I don't know if I have a big enough audience for that to even work anyway, but when I talk about something, it's usually when I can actually try it out first and foremost. Like I, I try not to do too many things about thing, projects that are upcoming. Cosmic Champs has been kind of an exception to that because I really do think that has a good chance of changing the space. However, uh, I also I also acknowledge it could be a total disaster. We never know. We're going to find out soon. It's coming up in September, but right now we don't know. And that's why I think it's so important to have this channel is because we do the experiments, we try things out, and we let you know how it goes, whether it's good, bad, or everything in between. You know, it's, Sometimes it's like, with a lot of the Algorand stuff, usually it's like there's a lot of good parts and there's like maybe one or two bad things to be careful of. I got sick of watching videos where someone would tell me this project is great and you can make all this money and then they didn't even tell you about the gas fees or about, or something just flat out doesn't work that it's supposed to work or it's a big pain in the butt. Uh, I just got so annoyed with that. So that's why I'm doing this channel the way I'm doing it is because I wanna bring you guys the truth. I wanna bring you guys about what's happening and, I want to bring you guys like a regular guy perspective. Like I'm not, I'm not some big influencer. I'm not a guy who is, you know, raking it in in crypto and getting you to pump his coins for him. Like I'm just a regular guy like you trying this stuff out, trying to figure out what's going on. And because of that, I know when it works well and when it doesn't and when it's user friendly and when it isn't. So that's important. Uh, I remember one time when Bitcoin was screaming about how these double diamonds meant that Bitcoin was going to be pumping soon and it never did. <laughs> And someone said they thought it was BS and he screamed at them. He was screaming for like five minutes on his channel about, about how this guy was full of it. And it turned out he was right. <laughs> and BitBoy was way, way wrong. So uh, I'm sure this video will probably get me never invited on the blockchain around the blockchain, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. It is what it is. Uh, guys, I hope you're doing well out there. Stay safe. And as always, thanks for watching and we will see you in the future.